Hi, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. I hope your week's going well for you. This is just a short midweek video. I've been playing with this radio. This is the Radtel uh, RT860, a radio that I reviewed quite recently. And it can receive shortwave and also it can receive 27 megahertz, uh, 11 meter CB sideband. And typically when I was making the review, I just had no, we had no skip coming in on CB. It's been like that for weeks. Every time I get a new radio, it's like death to skip. It all stops. And I can't record any. But thankfully this week, we've had a little tiny bit of skip coming in. It came in yesterday and uh, just by chance I got home from work, switched the radio on. It was probably about three o'clock in the afternoon or something. And skip was crashing into the triple five. So I set this radio up and recorded a little bit, which I'll show you, show you that in a minute. It wasn't that easy, actually, to set this up on 11, 11 metres. Um, it was very, very strange, because I, I typed in 27555, and I could hear Skip coming in via my Antron outside antenna, via my CRT 9900 Pro. I knew it was there. This radio, I just couldn't seem to get it on to tune. It seemed very, very weak. And the BFO, fine tuning if you like it's not it's not really a frequency oscillator but the fine tuning i had to crank it right up i think it was something like 2000 which is very strange because when i was playing with this before um you only needed really to take it up to five or six hundred but it was quite surprised how high you had to crank it but once i got it up there it received uh, okay the skip was very in or out slightly off frequency because it was getting bashed about quite a bit by uh, the conditions the conditions have just been so poor but i did record a little bit and that will be coming up just just a second i'm getting a little bit fed up with these modern radios that are coming into the shack and they've got those black color screens which look so so nice when we're sitting up here in the uh, in the darkness of the attic shack but when i take them outside and and try and do a, a on-air test when you get anything like bright sunshine, you just can't read the display. I've been moaning about this for a long time now. I wish in some ways they would reverse it so you had a sort of a black on white screen. You can do that with a color screen, but they're all going for this, this color screen, this eye candy. So I'm looking around at the moment um, for simple LCD screens that you can read, like the old radios. And I've come up with this one, which I literally opened the box this morning haven't even uh, switched it on yet, but this is the Bofang UV9R Pro, which has a very easy, simple to read screen. And also another thing this radio has, which again is starting to really sort of get on my nerves, this has the shortcuts printed on the numerical keyboard. A lot of the newer radios, um, I think it might be because towards because of DMR and digital they've, they've just done away with that and you've got ABC DEF and all the rest of it and it doesn't help you when you reprogram this for um, PMR dark side these shortcuts like transmit power squelch and uh, you can do the vox and everything it's so useful just to have one one button pressing other than going for a menu and trying to remember which one it is pleased to say this one has got it and I got this one in for review because it reminds me very much like my old faithful UV5R, which I still like this radio. This radio is over 10 years old now, and it's just about right. It's got an easy to read display. All of the, key uh, the keys and the shortcuts are all printed on the uh, keypad there. The menu system is very, very simple. And then when you program it in Chirp, you just don't have to worry about it. And ergonomically I still really really like this radio and I've been trying to find one that's kind of a modern equivalent um, I know they've got more power now I think this is an 8 or 10 watt radio and this one is looking very much like this it's, it's just a very simple simple design lots of menu shortcuts lots of options on the on the keyboard so I think I might have found the final updated version of the UV5R with a readable display when we get it testing it uh, over the next couple of days, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know, and that video will probably be up in, in, a, in, a, in a few weeks. And then we're back to kind of like fancy colour color screens on, on radios that can apparently transmit on 27 megs, because I've got one that just came in the other day, which is a iRadio. You, you're probably going to see it on uh, some of the other ham radio uh, YouTube channels. They, they tend to get stuff on the channel quicker than me. 
but apparently that can transmit on 27 megs. But as I mentioned before, um, I'm waiting, which I think came in the other day, I'm waiting for some test equipment because I'm a little bit apprehensive about transmitting on 27 megs because of harmonics. They can, they can drift off into the airband and that, that's a bit of a no-no for me. So that will be coming up in the future, so stay tuned. But anyway, let's have a listen to this radio. Let's, say, let's have a listen to this and 27.555. Let's have a listen to finally, finally, a little bit of skip coming in to the UK. So thank you just for listening to this uh, waffle, really. As always, look after each other for me. Stay safe, yeah? I won't be there at the end. So cheers for watching the video. I do appreciate you. Definitely on Freddie in the Shed. Here comes the uh, clip. Cheers, guys. Hello, DXLO 11, this is One Division, Italy. Via Romeo 003, One Germany, Italy Radio 003, calling CQDX CQ 11. Hello, DXLO 11, One GIR 003, calling the XQSY on 27545. 27 decimal 545.
à l'écoute et on repasse à votre écoute. Fred's in the shed Where the magic unfolds Fred in the shed With his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely On a frequency